Well, the mayor of Abbotsford has been the face of this disaster in his community. Today, CTV was there exclusively as Henry Braun got a first-hand look on the ground at the dike repairs. Here's CTV's Michelle Bernaro. It's been a long 12 days for the mayor as he leads his city through an unprecedented crisis. With a police escort, we go past the barricades as the mayor heads on to Sumas Prairie. When that dike broke, the farmers that were close to the bridge told me, have told me that the water rose three feet every hour. For Braun, the days have been long and unrelenting since flooding plunged his community into disaster. I don't even know some days what day is it because they all look the same. I get up at 2 or 3 in the morning and come home at 7 and have something to eat and go to bed. On the eastern prairie, fields still look like lakes. All this water goes all the way to Vetter Mountain. But waters have dropped significantly. Yesterday, this was underwater. At the Barrowtown pump station, the mayor says a wall of sandbags built by volunteers during the peak of flooding helped fight off an even larger disaster. And if it wasn't for them, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened because we couldn't get here. It was all underwater. As the city braces for more wet weather, the mayor says they're as ready as they can be. We have some capacity for taking on more water from the rain. Uh, and I, th I really do believe that we are okay if the Nooksack stays on the other side of the border. This is the first time the mayor has seen the dike repair work of the biggest breach from the ground, and he likes what he sees. So I just talked to the contractor, tells me they're six inches away from uh, being at the elevation. The mayor says the flooding has sent him on an emotional roller coaster. There's anger on one side to heartache and mourning and grieving for the losses that these people have suffered in our prairie. He says the U.S. needs to step up and deal with the Nooksack River, but now is not the time to point fingers because right now, Abbotsford needs to make it through the threatening storms still on their way. The mayor says it will take weeks for the floodwaters to recede. How long it will take then to assess the damage and see repairs to places like this remains unclear. Scott Mijung. Thank you, Michelle.